Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show how to create the Azure Sandbox account using Microsoft Learn. So I'll create the time-based Azure subscriptions, which means Azure subscription provided by the Microsoft will be for a certain duration of time. And for that time, you can create different resources, but those will be temporary resources because after four hours or so, the subscription will be disabled and all the resources will be deleted. But this is really useful when you are testing in the lab or practicing for your certification. And the best part is that you don't need credit card to activate these subscriptions. So let me show you step by step process of activating the sandbox account. So the first step is to open the Google and type Azure account. And there you will see create your free account today. Click on the URL. And build in the cloud with the Azure free account. So start free. And there you need to create a new account. Create one. Provide a new email address. So I'm using Shalender YouTube demo01 at Outlook.com. Next. And create the password. I'm just randomly selecting. And this is for verification that you are not a robot. So in the same direction now, submit. And the verification is done. Now it will ask you to create your own profile and provide all the details. And later you have to verify using your credit card. But we are not going to do this process. Let's go for portal.azure.com. And now you are logged into Microsoft Azure, but there is no subscription. If you look for subscription, you don't have any. Now the next step is open a new tab, learn.microsoft.com and look for publish web app in Azure. Search for it. And there click on trainings. And the first link is publish a web app to Azure with Visual Studio. Click here. Scroll down. And in the exercise, there is an option of publish an ASP.NET from Visual Studio. Go there. And here is the link where you will sign in to activate the sandbox. Click here. Use a new account which you have created. And you need to provide some details. Display name is Shalender. I'm in Australia. So you need to choose your region. Next. Let's go back. Now it will ask you to verify your account. Start the puzzle. You need to find a picture where there is only one rock. So that is the one. Submit. It's asking us to review the permissions. Click here. Accept. So you have given the permission. You need to verify your account again. Start puzzle. Four rocks. This is five, four. Submit. So it's checking the availability of the sandbox. Sometimes when there are a lot of users who are using the sandbox, it says the sandbox isn't available. So you need to try again and most of the time it's provided. So let's wait for it to finish. And the sandbox is activated. You can activate in fact 10 sandboxes, but for today there is only one sandbox which is provided and it's provided for four hours. Now let's go back to portal.azure.com. And go to subscriptions. And here you can see a subscription is provided to you. So let me increase the font. Now let's create the resources. Go to app services. 
create a web app. The catch here is that you can't create a new resource group. You have to use an existing resource group, which is created with the name learn. So select this test web app demo 01. It should be a unique name. .NET application it is Windows and region should be Australia East. I'm not going to do the testing on this web application. I'm just deploying it so that I can show that you can create the resources. So it's creating a Windows plan. You can change the plan, but let's go with the standard one. Review and create. and create and as you can see the deployment has started and it will deploy the web app and the app service plan so this is how you can temporarily create the resources because this subscription will be deactivated after four hours and if we'll go to the resource it's deployed now you can see a web app is created so this is a free sandbox subscription which is provided by microsoft so there are always a lot of changes which can apply here. Sometimes they limit the number of resources or sometimes they limit what type of resources you can create. So it changes time to time. So my suggestion is give it a shot and practice for your certification. Because if you want to create the permanent resources for few days so that you can practice a real time scenarios, then in that case, I'll recommend you to sign up for free Azure subscription where you just need to provide the credit card, but you will not be charged on it and you will get a lot of free resources along with it. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.